Good morning, Army Nation. This is your girl, Princess Army, coming through to talk to you guys. Um, yes, I'm walking. I'm walking to the store. Um, and I'm going to talk to you guys for a little bit. Um, so, I know you recently... This is just going to be a ramble on my opinion. My opinion and what I think, okay? So, sorry about the noise. So, I know you guys may or may not have already heard that they found R. Kelly guilty on all charges. And that's good. I'm glad that he's going to pay for what he did, you know, to those young girls, you know, molesting some of them, raping some of them and stuff like that. And, you know, keeping them away from their family members, you know, having this cult-like thing, this cult-like environment that he had them in and stuff like that. Even his ex-wife, Drea, also, you know, confirmed some of these behaviors based on what when she was with him, too, at the time and what he did to her and all this foolishness. So, R. Kelly's gonna pay, I think they said 100 years, he got, you know, he was found guilty for 100 years. So, basically, life in prison. So, now here's where my opinion gonna come in. I feel like, okay, so my whole thing is the parents of these young girls that allow them to go with R. Kelly to be in his house or whatever just because they promised, just because he promised them that they're, he's gonna make their daughter a star, their daughter might have been a young age, 13, 14, 15 or whatever, and they allowed their daughter to go with him knowing that he was already a known pedophile, he just wasn't you know been, he just hasn't been to jail for it yet but they know his reputation and what he was doing and for all those parents that allow their kids to go with him they need to go to jail too they need to be going to jail for five to ten years for um child endangerment because they know when this man was a pedophile and they allow their child to go be around him stay the weekend at his house and all this foolishness they need to pay too and for all R. Kelly team, all his team members that was, you know, allowing all this stuff to happen, you know, bringing the girls to his house and stuff like that and looking the other way while he messed with these girls instead of speaking up. You know, you could speak up. You could be like, you could tell them to speak up and not to put your name in it or whatever, but you can speak up and what you know is wrong. And for everybody that just went along with everything because it was a big celebrity making a lot of money. You know, y'all all need to go to jail too for y'all the part that you all playing it. This is just my opinion. I'm just stating my opinion on the fact. You know, it's just really, really, it's just honestly a really, really sad situation. Um, because all those parents, they knew he was up to no good and they still allowed their little kids to go around him and be around him. Everybody who stayed quiet while he did what he did with those little girls. To, you know, it's just a sad situation. And I just wish, and I just wish because a backstory, let me rewind a little bit. If, if you all don't know, let me give you guys a little bit of backstory in R. Kelly. But let me give you guys a backstory. R. Kelly, you know, his parents wasn't the greatest. They'll leave him, you know, with their family members and stuff like that. And he have family members. I believe it, they said it was his uncle, you know, that raped him and stuff as a young age. I think he probably was like six or seven and stuff like that. So, you know, and I don't know how many times or how many family member raped him as a child. So, you know, the things that was done to him, he turned around and did them to other young girls too. Because maybe he felt like it was right. I don't know growing up with that mentality thinking it's wrong because it was done to you and yeah what was done to him he didn't like it and didn't understand what's going on because he was a young age but growing up you know those are people in his family that he's he trusted and they hurt him so he probably feel like you know there's nothing wrong with it so instead of getting therapy to deal with his trauma what happened to him as a kid he just you know it's like he just took on a personality of his own and just started doing all these bad things to all these little girls and stuff like that. And it's very sad because R. Kelly, yeah, he couldn't read or write because he never he dropped out of school at young age and stuff like that. So he couldn't really do much for himself. So it's just... It's just very sad because he was blessed with a talent like no other. He's so talented. He have a voice of an angel. Besides Whitney, he's like one of the best voices I ever heard. Like, you know, for a man, like, he's a really awesome singer. He was truly blessed with a talent to, you know, bless our ears and our hearts and stuff like that. So it's just so sad that he threw his whole life away and now he's going to be living behind bars. But you know what? It's true what they say. Your crimes 
have a way of catching up to you it might take months it might take years but it's gonna catch up with you and I feel like a lot of people did turn the blind eye I'm not gonna lie watching all of his stuff like trapped in a closet and stuff like that listen to his music and stuff like that I forgot the terrible man that he was I forgot and I think that happened to a lot of people in the world too they because his music was so good like we didn't allow uh you know we didn't allow ourselves to believe that he was this monster that's really out here hurting all these young, young girls because his music you know was we were like all hypnotized in a sense like we couldn't see him for the man that he really is because his music was so good and a lot of people want to say, you know, with him being in jail and losing all his money and going broke now, that's why everybody want to come forward and test the test and testify against him because they no longer have anything to gain because he don't have any money at the moment. So I don't know with all the evidence and everything, you know, they found him guilty. He's going to be in jail. He's going to spend the rest of his life behind bars, unfortunately. And like I said, it's very, very sad. It's very sad but hurt people hurt people and i just wish he would have had you know got therapy to deal with the trauma that you know he went through because that's traumatic that's a traumatic event to be five and six years old and people that's supposed to protect you is physically hurting you and to live with that and grow up like that as an adult like that stuff follow you and you really have to get help so i just wish he would have sat down and talked to somebody instead of choosing to to you know hurt all these girls just like he was hurt you know it's, it's just a crazy situation i'll be back <laughs> i just came out here and sat down y'all see me i'm just sitting right here just chilling on this rock and this um thing right here so yeah you guys it's just a very sad situation but i'm glad that he's paying for what he did no doubt like i'm glad that justice was served and he's paying for what he did but i feel like yes he did a horrible crime and he deserved to pay no doubt but my thing is i just can't help but think when it comes to people of color they throw them sorry y'all my lip gloss okay there we go i just feel like when it comes to people of color they throw them under the jail quick fast and in a hurry but when it comes to like like other race you know, I'm not going to say any particular, even though y'all pretty much know what I'm talking about. But when it comes to other race, it's like they get a slap on the race, house arrest or whatever. I feel like the, I feel like if you do the crime, you should pay the time. It doesn't matter your skin color. It doesn't matter anything. If you do the horrible crime, you deserve to be in jail too. Not like, oh, uh, five years, because five years, ten years. I don't know so many stories on the news with women hurting their kids or you know or in all those dramatic stuff and because they happen to be other there wasn't a person of color they got off easy five to ten years for taking someone life five to ten years they get they get five to ten years in prison but if that was a person of color then they would have thrown them under the jail they would have got like 50 years i feel like I don't know who is in place of the justice system, but it needs to change. If the crime, if if the crime is brutal, they deserve a brutal punishment. What R. Kelly did was wrong, and it's many women. Of course, he deserved to, you know, to the rest of his life in prison. But don't just give him that fate. But don't let any let other people off easy. That's not of color, you know. So it's just crazy. If the if the crime fit the pun the if the crime what one second it's just crazy i mean the crime fit the punishment no doubt but it's just some stuff that i just sit back over the years and i've noticed people of color they throw them under the jail other people that's not of color they get off easy and i feel like the justice system need to be changed it should be the same justice should be served regardless of your skin color that's what I'm saying. So it's just a crazy situation. Well, anyways, that's what I think about it. Comment down below if you've been following the R. Kelly situation. What What is your point of view of it? You heard mine. This is mine. Like and share this video so everyone can hear my Princess Army point of view on it. Yeah. 
But you know, it's just a sad, sad situation. Like I said, he's a talented man and he just threw his whole life away because I guess he thought he was rich and had so much money, his crime wouldn't catch up with him. But like I said, I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. I, if you're hurting, if someone hurt you and you've been through trauma as, an, a kid, as a kid, get help. Don't repeat the same wrongdoing that was done to you. Don't put that on other people because you know you didn't like it. Don't put that on other people. Get help so you can be mentally stable and you won't do these crazy stuff. They need to test him. Like, what if he's not, um, what if he's, let me see, how you say it? Uh, they need to make sure he's mentally stable because who do all these crazy things? You know, they need to check his mental state too because this is just crazy. But anyway, let me go ahead and get off of here. Thank y'all for listening. Like, share, leave me a comment and all that good stuff. And as always, stay blessed, divas. Bye. Bye.